Meanwhile, closer to home, Worcester's Emergency Management Division says the city is prepared for a situation like this, but as our Roslyn Flaherty explains, it would take all of the city's resources. Worcester's Emergency Management Director says you can never prepare for an incident like the mass shooting in Las Vegas. They're at a concert in an open venue. Um, if someone is um, decisive and determined to carry out bad things at a large scale event like that, it's hard to prevent something like that. Dozens of people are dead and more than 500 injured after a gunman opened fire on a music festival crowd from a hotel window in Las Vegas. Anytime there's an incident like this is the time where everybody looks back and thinks, could this happen to me? Could this happen here? The emergency management center is responsible for planning if something major happens in the city. Richard Fisk says Worcester is prepared to respond to a tragedy like this, but it wouldn't be easy. There is no, no one city or one uh, agency that could possibly say, oh, we could respond to this easily. Um, it would max our resources out. It would max any community's resources out. Terrified bystanders ducked and ran from the gunshots. Harry Jacobs, a Worcester native, lives 10 miles south of the Vegas Strip. Knocking a couple of windows out of a hotel and shooting at an event, you know, at an open lot across the street is... You know, it's it's horrible. And and this that space across the street from Mandalay Bay has been wide open for years. They've been talking about what to what to do with it. And I think, you know, it's just a, a huge tragedy. Closer to home, Fisk says, although this is a terrible situation, people still need to live their life without fear. Not to be paranoid or to be scared or to um, not participate in these public activities just when you do to be aware of what's around you. And we've said it for many years, if you see something, say something. Rosalind Flaherty, Worcester 